So it looks like I captured almost all the walls. I, I still have this portion missing. So I will use a new command for you. I'll introduce it. It's called the match properties. So I'm going to type it. It's MA. Uh, and basically the way this one works is you need to select like what is the source. So that's the source. And then I'm going to select the destination. And it's going to match like the one, the destination with the source. So now they have the same layer. And I think I've missed a few lines here. So this one, I'll just actually extend this. I think I have a little line here. So I'm going to join these guys. Okay, so when I joined them, the layer got switched to the one originally that was there. So I'm going to match this again. So now they're good. And then I'm going to join these guys. So see how this one is like still on the zero layer. So when I join it with this uh, polyline, it might switch the layer, but it didn't. I'm going to join these guys. So okay, it's switching their layer once they're joined. Uh, now that I have all of them, now I can show you. Okay, I just I just saw a few more. Okay, if I join this properly from the beginning, we wouldn't have took this long. Okay, so this ones they became uh, white. They matched the other objects. Okay, so we're good now. So now what I can do is basically uh, from the layers, I can click on this eye icon. If you see it, uh, I can click on the doors, for example, and that will hide all the doors in the project. Uh, and the same with the windows. We'll hide all of them and just leave us with the walls. Actually, this is good because now I can see some of the portions that I missed. Okay. So, and then if you want to bring them back, we will just select this and that will bring them back. The next cool feature about the layers is the ability to lock them. So if you look here, there's a lock icon and then I'm going to click here for the doors, the walls and the windows. And you will see they kind of get dimmed. And then when you hover over them with the cursor, you will see like we get lock icon which means like we can't edit them. So now when I select everything here and I try to erase it, uh, all the other stuff that are not locked or layers that are not locked, they will get erased. Um, now this is handy in some situations, but I do want to bring everything we had earlier. I'm going to do undo, but that's another really, really cool feature of layers. And I personally use it all the time when I'm working and editing my own projects. There's a three more settings that I want to talk about when it comes to layers. Um, so besides, so I just showed you like how we can change their color. Obviously they have a name. I showed you the visibility and I showed you the locking. There's also something called freezing. So it's this, uh, uh, this setting right here. So it's similar to turning on and off. So I can freeze the doors, uh, and that will, will hide them essentially. There is something about the freezing that, uh, we will use later on when we get to printing and creating multiple viewports. It's irrelevant now, but I just wanted you to know that if you use the freeze feature of players in the model space, it will actually also turn on and off the object. But the next one I want to talk about, and I'm going to expand the layers window, is actually you're able to control the the line type of the of the layers itself. So for example, the walls here, um, if you see, so here's walls, I'm going to select it just to make it easier. And then if you look here where it says, line type i could actually modify it and make all the walls appear as hidden so if i select that you will see it already switched all of them uh, to show as like hidden line type or like a dashed line type uh, that's not something that we want in this case but maybe if you're trying to show these walls as uh, walls to be demolished like this is how you would do it you would make a layer called walls and then you would call it walls demo and then you would assign it this line type but for our purpose, we will keep it as continuous. Uh, and this is like one more feature. Uh, and then like the last one I'm going to cover for now is actually the line weight. So in AutoCAD, when you want to print, you actually control like how thick the lines come out when you print. Uh, and uh, you can do it actually from the properties. You can see here it says like line weight, and then you can see a list of them here. Um, but the default is always by layer. and. Now you probably understand like what it means to say by layer. So when an object, when we're creating something and it's following the line type of the layer, then when we're selecting this, then it's going to follow exactly what layer it sits on. If you modify it, then it's going to modify that particular instance. It will not listen to what layer it's working on. I think let me show you this just in case, just to make it clear. So I'm going to lock these guys. I'm going to dock this layer window back. And then here, for example, let's say like this window right here. So this window is sitting on the Windows layer, and you can see it right here. Uh, and you can see the color of it is following the layer. But we can modify this particular one and override it and switch it to be red. Now, even though it's sitting on the Windows layer, if I hide the window layer, it will disappear. 
but the color of this particular object is red. It's not following the layer. And I can do the same with the line type. I can make it uh, hidden. So you see the same, it's not listening to the layer and so on. I can change a lot of the settings just for this instance, even though it's still on the layer. My recommendation, there's very few instances when you want to do this, where you want to modify a particular object. So for the most part, try to always work to keep things by layer. It will make your life much easier. And again, it's up to you, but that's my opinion. So now I want to go back to the line weight that I was talking about. So I'm going to go back here. Uh, and like I was saying, like you can you can switch like the line weight of the objects. I showed you, you can do it from the properties window. And then here you can switch it uh, to these different values. And we can also control it by the layer. Now these settings, like the line weight is only like we can actually show it here on the model space. So let's say, let's say the walls, I do want them to be thicker. Now we're seeing these values in millimeter. Let's actually switch that first, like to inches, and then we'll switch this back. So to switch the line weight uh, unit in use, we're gonna actually go to format. And then from here, we will go to line weight. We will get this window. And then from here, all you wanna do is just switch to inches and you're good to go. Gonna hit okay. And and now back to, to the line weight within the layers. Um, we're going to switch the walls. So the walls, I like them to be thicker than the rest. So let's say we're going to place them at this value, 0 0.021 inch. Uh, and then the windows, I like them to be uh, a little skinnier. So maybe, actually, let's make the walls a little bit even more. So maybe 28. I'm just going to read like the small number. And then the windows, let's make them at uh, maybe 20. And then the doors, let's do also 20. Um, and the rest of the layers, we're going to keep creating the layers in a second. Uh, and then let's dock this back. So now, so if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking like there's nothing that changed here. You don't see the difference. So to activate how the line weights appear on the model space, there's actually a button in the status bar. And it's this one. And when you click it, you'll start to see the line weight. Now, this one shows you when you zoom out, it really makes it hard to see and look at things. So. When you zoom in, like this is kind of clear. So you can see the walls, maybe it's not super clear, but the walls layer is actually thicker than the doors layer. Uh, and that's like how we set up in the layers. But this is really relevant once we get to the printing section. Uh, and we will get to that pretty soon. Uh, and you will see like, we will be able to see exactly how they're gonna print out when we print them. So now you know how to turn on like the like to see like the line weight uh, at least like roughly to see it in the model space, uh, but we do want to continue working on the layers. I covered for the layers like the different settings that we have, and now we're gonna keep going with the layers. We're gonna create. We want to create like the text and the dimensions and the other layers we're gonna be using.